The following is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about them, Cowboys? Yeah! Go Cowboys! This, this is the Players' Lounge. Broadcasting live from Dallas Cowboys World Headquarters at the Star. Now, your hosts, Barry Church, Heckma Harrison, and Newey Scruggs. Welcome to the Taj Mahal mm. of football. We are mm. here at the headquarters mm. of the Dallas Cowboys yeah, that in Frisco, Texas. Get him right. Get him right. You are man. now rocking with the best. I'm Heckma Harrison and... In the building, mm -hmm. Barry Church is What's here, happening? swag on 100,000 trillion. Always, and look always. who we got across from us. Oh. Uh, he just got finished doing uh, uh, his his little show. And, uh, take, take, his, take, his little take, show. Take, he take, take, his take, little take show. the little, take the little off what that. What you mean? Bro. You're used to that. Let him, no, I ain't. You're used to that. Ain't. You're used to that. Ain't you're used to that. Listen, that's the name of that show. You head on down to the TPs. You head on down to the trailer parts. And they say, hey, Jesse Holland, they go. Yeah, yeah. Not <laughs> at the trailer park. Yo, when Jay was up in that tower <laughs> yeah. and he was giving them measurements, and yeah. he was like eight and a half inch thick. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he That's was. That's the thickness. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My thick. man. Jesse, Holly, just this your week right here, Jesse. Jesse, this your week right here, dog. I'm just now peeping. Yeah, you the see the picture. It? Yeah. yeah, I was there. You was there. I was. I was in My attendance. My boy was for in that. there. No, I was in attendance for it. <laughs> yeah. I think I've never asked you this question. Really. What if you scored, bro? Um, you want the funny answer or you want the... Uh, we're here for 45 minutes, so, right, so get to Here's the thing. And I, I would like to believe that we're all men of believing in God, right? Faith. Yeah, Jesus Christ and all that kind of good stuff. 100%. Um, I was never supposed to score. Okay. I was never supposed to score. And here's why. When you think about my journey in the first part of my, my NFL life, I was wilding. Right. It was all about me in Cincinnati. The Lord took it away. Okay. And he said, once I get you back, I'm going to do something in such a unique way that you're going to have no choice but to say it was me. Okay. I.e., I'm the only player in NFL history to get back in the NFL off a reality TV show. No one has ever done it that way. Okay. okay. And it was the next time you get into position. You won't blow it. You won't blow it and you won't take credit. That is. So if you remember the end of that play, after it all happened, mm -hmm. you know, Jason Garrett made fun of me. He's like, hey, act like you've been there before. Well, I was like, hey, yeah. coach, I, have I haven't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's back. But I That's went into that whole praise and worship thing, right? Mm -hmm. If I score, because they had the ball first, mm -hmm. if I score, what happens? Game's over. Everybody rushes me. They pile on top. They do all that kind of stuff. It takes that moment away. But because I'm at the one-yard line and I don't get into the end zone, Everybody has to stay at bay, and I have that 10 to 15, 20 second where all you see me doing is giving praise. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's facts. That's, that's it, facts. right? And yes, so, sir. That so, so that lives forever. Yeah. And when you show that moment, those that know me and those that know the faith, they're going to say, oh, that's praise and worship. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's that young boy giving praise, yeah. and that can never go away. Absolutely. And so it was it – was, it was, it was God's gift to me, and it was me giving it back to the Lord. Okay. Man, I absolutely love that. Uh, yeah, you know never, what? Sometimes, you say sometimes, that, dog, you say some stuff, man, and I go, I question, right? Yeah, and I, I and, I, and I go, Jay, Holly, mm. yeah. But then sometimes you say something that's so smart, and I still gotta go, Jay, Holly, mm. Mm. you know what I'm saying? And that was that was the give me something, give me something. And so, listen, man, that, on man. the on the players' lounge, what we do when we open up the show, and we always do it with the energy. But when I host. I, I get down to brass tacks with people, man, and, mm -hmm. and one of my things that I always ask before we get into any cowboy business, uh, Players Lounge sponsored by Aristocrat Gaming, by the way, mm, uh, we have to check in. I do a thing called check-ins, okay. check-in time. Yeah, you know, yeah. So I'm basically, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on with you yeah. if you're good. So, BC, holler at me, man. Check in with me. The mentals? Yeah, check on the mentals, no, man. The mentals How are you? is great. Mentals is great. Uh, went and saw my, my little, little boy do this thing called the Dragon Dash ever over at one of the schools. Okay. And, uh, you know, they running around doing all that stuff, you know, raising money, all that good stuff. Basically, coming awesome. out of my pockets for something. Yeah. For sure. But, you know, it was it was great. It was great. Family's doing well. You know, health. Everybody's healthy. So, my mentals are good, man. My mentals, mentals are, are good. good right That's now. That's a good we're check good, in, brother. Yeah. Uh, how I'm good, brother. We we say on our show we we have a mentals and dentals check. I always say, how's your mentals and dentals, right? Like okay. so for me mentally, I'm good, man. It's been a great week. Um, you know, just I'm I, like I'm just in a great space right now. That's like dope. I, I, you ever have those moments where you just you just sometimes you sit back and you go, boy, I I am 
So privileged. Yeah, it's going good. Like, I'm so privileged, bro. Like, I get to wake up, and I get to do this for a living. Yeah. Like, I don't got to go. When I was in Cincinnati, and I'll make this brief. When I was in Cincinnati, if you ever played for the Bengals or you ever been to, the, to, the, to, the, to Paul Brown Stadium, mm-hmm. their practice facility is across the street. Mm, okay? I ain't never been there. So you, you get dressed in, at the stadium. And then you walk outside, and then you walk down the sidewalk, and you cross the street, and there's a practice facility right by the lake underneath the bridge. But when you walk by, there's a rock quarry that sits right there to the left. And there will be days, man, that I will be walking across that street, and you know how the body feel, church, yeah, right? You be like, man, you be dragging yourself across the street. <laughs> but then I would look over to that left, and I'd be like, bro, I could be logging these rocks around. Yeah. Like, That's I facts. could be having to get up in the morning and get in one of these trucks and have to go get cement and concrete and do all that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. Man, I get to go play football. That's and facts. that's how I feel now. I, I get to wake up and I get to talk about sports and they cut me a check. Mm. <laughs> you got yeah. to whisper yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Like, so, so I'm, like, I'm, 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 like, I'm in a really good space right oh, now. Man. That's, that's, you know what? And, and absolutely, the thing about that is sometimes men is good, other times it's bad. You know what I'm saying? But either way, we get to check in on each other and see what's happening. You mm-hmm. know, for me, man, I'm good. I'm Same story, brother. Same testimony. Yeah. They cut me. Yeah, they <laughs> How little heck going? How man, little heck is going? good. Little heck straight? is good, right. man. Every, every, hey, man, listen, this, as I've, I've talked to you before, this season with my son, man, has not lived up to what we thought it would be. Okay. Uh, he, We've had to, we've had to really like inundate our son in his faith, too. You know, mm-hmm. to talk to him about, you know, God don't make any mistakes. Mm-hmm. And, and look, your journey in this is going to be you and your testimony when you get to that point. It's, you know, it, it, you you crave wanting that attention so bad and wanting to be the man so bad. And when you have to wait and you know you're geared and you you already got the equipment to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, you have to wait. It's, it's a really frustrating, but it's, a, it's frustrating for him, but it's humbling as well. Yeah. And I think as a father and being involved in football, my thing is to understand that I have to let him go through this. Mm-hmm. I can't fight this for him, yeah, you know, and I can't yeah. get out in front of, I can't dog cuss the coaches. <laughs> that ain't gonna help him get out there. It, it ain't, gonna, that ain't gonna help. It ain't gonna help. So that that's what, help. you know, this this is what I'm, you know, having to go through, but man, it's, it, I'm blessed, man. Everything good. is good. Family's good. good. Uh, but let's, let's handle this cowboy business. Um, it's not so and, good. and we, yeah, well, <laughs> here's, here's the thing. You, you make your way out to uh, uh, San Francisco on Sunday night, and obviously all the shows are talking about the same thing, talking mm-hmm. about the Cowboys needing a win uh on this show man i i thought about the questions before i got here and the only thing that i could think of is gorilla tactics not the gorilla <laughs> gorilla tactics not the gorilla. this defense this defense that is behind the eight ball and every number uh, imaginable uh, imaginable when it talks about stopping the run tackling all those things the numbers don't bode well for the dallas cowboys defense mm-hmm. and you go out to santa clara against a team that can do something that you can't do very well they yeah. run the ball very well. You can't stop the run yeah, that's as facts. well, guys. You, you guys have had a lot of week, a lot of time this week to talk about it. Now the resolution is here. You got to say something smart to me and to Cowboy Nation. Either let them know this is this is where it's going to start and end, or this is how it's just going to end. BC, come on now. Look for me, man. Um, I'm, I'm gonna say what I've been saying all week. This is a very winnable game. Mm. For the Dallas Cowboys. I understand, you know, the rushing defense is is, is, is god-awful right now. 32nd in the National Football League. We all understand that. And to me, I don't want to see any more, at least in this game, of that too high safety stuff. I mean, for me, you got to get one of them guys in the box. You got to load the box, and you got to stop these guys from running the football. We all understand. We've seen it. Just having the front seven up there, defensive line, and the second level with linebackers isn't enough. It, it just hasn't been enough all season to stop this rushing attack. Bring one of them boys down in the box and focus on stopping that run, all right? Make that San Francisco offense one-dimensional, all right? Force them to go ahead and make Brock Purdy the guy that everybody wants to put him up there to be, all right? And if he can go out there and throw for 350 and four touchdowns, you got to tip your hat to him. Say, hey, you know what? You got us on this one. You got us on this one. But to me, you got to be able to bring an extra defender in that box and help lock down that run because if they can get a balanced attack going, 
If they can run the ball with Mason and they hit the play action, you got Purdy coming around on bootlegs, hitting Kittle on the boot, then it, it becomes hard and it's going to be it's going to be a laughing game from there. You got to make these guys one dimensional, and the key to winning this game is putting it on Purdy's shoulders because I don't believe the man can do it. I don't believe the man can go out there without the Legion of Doom he has out there. With, without I you you know I don't know Samuel if he does play, he's not going to be a hundred percent. Kittle got a foot injury. You ain't got those guys on the outside. Mm-hmm. Lock the hell up on the outside. Bring that safety in the box. Make it a murky, dirty game, all right, and get the job done defensively. I mean, that's, that's to me what it comes down to. Jesse, I read something that you said on Twitter. Basically, you said Zim this week better sell out. Yeah, <laughs> I did. I did. And, and, and then I got, I got smacked with another situation. Okay. Um, because I did. I, I said I, I was on the same train that mm-hmm. you were on, Barry Church. I was like, if I'm Zim, uh, over my dead body. Well, you run the football, right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. over my dead body. And then uh, I do another show with Jeff Cavanaugh, and he said to me, he says, yeah, the dead body is what's the problem. <laughs> he said, because the Cowboys are fourth in the league at loading the box. Fourth oh. in the league at loading the box. To your point, mm-hmm. bring another guy up there. Teams still have a 52% success rate running on it. Mm, mm, mm. Which is also fourth in the league. Mm. So I want to say I was on the same train that you were on. Like, man, like if if he goes for 400 yards, you tip your cap yeah. to him and say, hey, but we can't let you, we can't let you. you. Can't right. Good, but man. that that's for me, I'm on the sideline. Like I'm 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 on the sideline. And I said it on my show last, uh, my, my, my show before this show. Goyard, Gucci, Louie, Fendi, Prada. Nike, Jan Sport. Bags? You gotta get in your bag, Michael from Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> My boy. <laughs> Yo. You gotta get so deep into this bag, it's stupid. Yeah. You gotta you had a whole week. You had a whole week. You could have popped on some other film, watched some other games. I'm an advocate of stealing plays. You gotta do whatever you got to do. Mm-hmm. You got that bag got to be so plentiful. You know, B. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to have that carry on. You, you know to. how we do. You got to, you got to you have got that to. carry on. Yeah. Yeah. And it has to be so special that when we come back here on Monday, we like, did you see the thing that he was doing out mm-hmm. We, I want to ask, where was that at? Yeah. You can't go out there with the same game plan as you've been playing with six games into the season. It's not going to work against this defense. Because while the team as a whole might be a little bit banged up, the defense still has some pieces in place that are staples in what they do. So for You're me, say, in San oh, you said you said in, in San Francisco. San Francisco, okay. Right. He, so he, McCarthy's bag got to be deep. Not Zimba. What you, what you, oh, we going defense? Yeah, yeah. yeah going well, hell, defense too. He got to go. Right, he got to right, go right, right, like, okay. He got to figure out a plan too. Okay. Like for Zim has to be in that bag as well. Yeah, I got you. Both Michaels. <laughs> Michael from Illinois and Michael from Pittsburgh. Gotcha. That's what Zim's from. He's from Illinois. Yeah, yeah. Right, he, right. They both got to get in their bag. I got you. Because for him, you don't have Micah. You're probably not going to have Micah this game. Mm-hmm. So you got to find a way to manufacture something. You got to have guys standing in the gap. Stand there. Don't move. <laughs> don't don't get move. Moved. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. And, and so both, to me, both Michaels. Michael and Michael. The law firm of Michael mm-hmm. and Michael yeah. got to be – Bag worthy at the end of this game can, on Sunday. Can can Overshone, so we, we were talking about this earlier this week. Can Overshone be that chess piece to this defense? Not saying he's gonna be a parson, not saying you can just line up anywhere and get it done, but can he be that chess piece to where you can move him around, just not have him stagnant on the second level? Because if the linemen get them hands on him. Yeah, but B, you so know, right. you know this, you know this as a young player. It's tough, yeah. It's the information. Yeah, overload. Yeah. Right? The, and, and what makes it even more difficult, because when I came into the league, and probably early on when you came into the league, you don't have enough time. Yeah, that's facts. That's Your facts. practice time is limited. So, the, you know, and I don't know if he's at a professional, and this is not a knock, You have, it takes time to learn. You, when you hear veteran guys say, learn how to be a professional. That's facts. It takes a little time to learn how to do mm-hmm. that. And so being able to get into the lab and study multiple positions. Right. right now he's on that bag where, hey, coach, leave me right here. 
and let me fully learn this so See I can ball, be. See ball, get ball type. Yeah. Right. Yeah, like, yeah. So he ain't yes to the question in the future, but right now it's just a difficult place to be in okay. for a young player. That caters to what you were just talking about, about Mike being in his bag defensively. You're going to have to find some piece somewhere, somehow, that can that can really generate that pressure. That's one of the things I think that throws you off about this defense from last year to this year. The pressure is not there. Mm. They're not turning the ball over. They're not getting those interceptions. You're not getting any pressure. You're not tackling. Right, And then you're coming up against a San Francisco team, Jordan Mason, that is probably one of the best at breaking tackles. Mm, young, so, young Lynch I mean, out there, I'm telling you. It, young Lynch. I, I'm just, so when you, when, there is, when you come up against that team where obviously you put the numbers together, you, put the, you, you look at their, evaluate their starters, and you say, damn, even with what they have up against what we don't have, it's not like we outmatch them even with the pieces right. that, they, that they're missing. So that's what I'm saying. When you go into, okay, get into your bag Mike Zimmer bag with what yeah, <laughs> bag saying. bag with what because there's only so much zone there's only so much man there's only there's only so much that you can do especially up against the San Francisco team that you know is going to give you that tight you know they, mm-hmm. they're going to be in tight yep. they're going to block up man on man then what do you do if, if you with time proof and consistency in this building well, like, if you, if you where's can't it coming beat from San Francisco now when, when you ever going to beat them I mean you can Samuel coming off pneumonia. Kittle got a foot injury. No IU. You ain't got CMC back there. I mean, that defense. Juwan Jennings might not play. Juwan Jennings might yeah. not play. The San Francisco defense, right now they're living off what they did, you know, years ago. They're, they're, they're middle of the pack defensively. Right. If you can't beat this team right now, when are you going to beat them? This has got to be the best opportunity you, you the got time, to. The time, the is, time right is right now. now. It's got to be done. The problem is. You're probably overall worse than what they are right now at their worst. There it is. But you got a full strength offensively. You you got you highest pay NFL player in the league right now at the quarterback position. You got a, a receiver who last year and that's one A one B and that's it. Ferg is healthy. Have. I mean, for, it's just, for, I don't think <sighs> I expected Ferg to take a bigger leap. I, I thought Ferg was going to be more of. Like you heard, Jay, you heard uh, Travis Kelsey uh, talk about, you know, this guy's one of the up and coming guys. He's mm-hmm. gonna be one of those guys. Like I was looking for him to have more of a pop, more of a wow factor, more of a dominating factor. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know if it's scheme or design or he's spending too much time and helping with blocking and he just can't get things vertically down the middle of the field. Um, I just felt like it was supposed to be C D Ferg. And others, yeah, yeah. right mm-hmm. now it's just CD and them. And <laughs> you know what I mean? The pips. The, you know what I'm saying? So I, yeah. I just I, I wanted more from Ferg. I, I thought he was supposed to take that Michael Jordan leap this year. Okay. So this uh, look, we're gonna I'm gonna tease this because I think for the next segment, this is what we have to have come up with matchups that are going to benefit the Dallas Cowboys. And I think we're going to have to start on offense because okay. if we're going CD, CD and them. <laughs> if we're going CD and them. Not them. Hey, hey, coming up next on the Players' Lounge, CD yeah. and them. The Players' Lounge sponsored by Aristocrat Gaming. Hey there, Cowboys Nation. Kyle Yeomans here, sharing that same team that brought you Buffalo, bringing NFL casino games that show America's team on and off the reels. Aristocrat is changing the game with a new experience. Football fans, this means you can pick your team and play your team. Check out the Cowboys-themed casino games developed by Aristocrat, a proud sponsor of the Dallas Cowboys. Gambling problem? Please contact the U.S. National Problem Gambling Helpline at 1-800-GAMBLER. That's 1-800-G-A-M-B-L-E-R for 21 and over. Hey, Cowboy fans, I'm Dak Prescott, quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. But lately, I've been learning a new game, crypto. Sound confusing? Don't worry. Even us pros were rookies in crypto once. That's why I trust Blockchain.com. They make crypto easy. No confusing jargon, just the tools to help you win. Prescott keeps it, slides with a first down. Invest like your icons, where everyone is a rookie in crypto with Blockchain.com. Perfect throw, my goodness. Wow, did he ever thread the needle. Visit Blockchain.com slash Cowboys to get started. It's the official men's skincare brand of the Dallas Cowboys, Jack Black. And right now, Cowboys fans can get 15% off their $75 order. Plus, because every deal needs a playmaker, your order will include a free five-piece skincare set and free shipping. The Jack Black Playmaker is four of Jack's favorites and a full-sized intense therapy lip balm. Make a play for the playmaker at getjackblack.com slash cowboys with the code CowboysVIP. That's getjackblack.com slash cowboys with the code CowboysVIP. 
Are you the 2024 Dallas Cowboys Fan of the Year? The Dallas Cowboys and Captain Morgan are celebrating extraordinary, inspiring, and original fans. Nominate yourself or the biggest Cowboys fan you know for a chance to be named the 2024 Fan of the Year and win prizes, including a trip to Super Bowl 59. Visit DallasCowboys.com slash Fan of the Year. Go Cowboys! Back to the Players' Lounge. Stay connected with the Dallas Cowboys on your connected TV. Catch up with all Cowboys content like player interviews, weekly TV shows, podcasts, docuseries like Deep Blue, and much more. Download the Cowboy Now app on Amazon Fire, Roku, and Apple TV. We're back here in the Players' Lounge in Frisco at the Cowboys headquarters. My man, Barry Church is in the building mm-hmm. and Jesse Holly. Yes, Amen. Sir. Let's Amen. go. Let's That's go. Why is say? Well, look here, man. My man, my man, Jesse Holly. What a testimony. Thank you, uh, my brother. God is good. Absolutely, man. And we, and, and, and we tease a little bit about the matchups coming up. And, and we're going to have to also uh, pick our Yeti cool customer. So it's your first time on the show, mm-hmm. uh, Jesse. So what we do every Friday is we pick a Yeti cool customer who's mm-hmm. The guy that needs to be the Yeti cool customer. So we'll we'll pick that here in just a minute. So think of somebody, anybody. It, it could be anybody. Scream. Okay. <laughs> so, somebody. Somebody. Anybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But we were talking about the talking about the matchups. And I think something that you said about Ferguson, and I call him Fer Kittle Kelsey. I call him all the top you know, tight ends in the league on this show. Uh, but he hasn't <laughs> hadn't lived up to the expectation uh, after six games. Offensively, I think, period, you heard Dak talk about this. He's like, my, my performance has been average. He, he talked about his own play and what mm-hmm. he's thought about it. And so offensively, I think there's been a, a lot left to be desired. But in this game versus the San Francisco defense that doesn't have the amount of injuries that the Cowboys has, there's going to be some matchups that I think the Cowboys can expose in you guys' mind, what are those going to be uh, to get this game uh, with a W? Uh, it's going to be in the secondary. The, the, this Niners team, if they give up some plays to you, they give them up in the middle of the football field. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you're going to have to – and here's here, here's the, the – Here's the on the string, right? Because in order to allow routes to develop down the middle of the football gotta field, time. I got to have a little bit of time, got to. right? I got to have a little bit of time. So, and this is part of the issue that they're having offensively is like, well, we want more down the field plays and more chances and more shots. Well, five and seven step drops, my boy need a little bit more time. Mm-hmm. And if if I'm getting to my, the top of my five step or the top of my seven step drop and immediately I'm now having to evade somebody or move in the pocket, I've now lost my eyes down the football field. So now when I get them back up and find the open receiver, the guys have on the defense have reacted mm-hmm. and gotten back into position. So now when I let this ball go, by the time it travels to its destination, we in some trouble, right? And so for me, it's if you're going to make hay, it's going to have to be in the middle of the football field. That's when they, that's where they, that's where they're susceptible of giving up some plays. But with that, you either have to design it properly mm-hmm. because – and I'm glad that we have a defensive player here because for everything that you do defensively, there's a hole. There's oh, yeah. a hole. Oh, yeah. You're they're, reacting. So, they're, yeah. Banking, they're banking on where we're weak, our rush or something else gives them a clue to get off of it. But you can't find it quick enough. You can't find it quick <laughs> exactly. enough. Exactly. Right? Like, because though there's an answer. And that's why I say that Michael from Pittsburgh got to get in his bag because there got to be answers. This team's going to play zone. Mm-hmm. They're going to play zone against the Cowboys. Of course. Mm-hmm. Where are the answers? And they give up plays in the middle of the football field. The one caveat to that is will Dak Prescott have enough time to connect? Because you may not get a, a lot of chances. Mm-hmm. There may be two or three where you hit it. If you hit it, they don't hit the head on the goalpost. But you're not going to get a lot of those. And you know it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, if you if you missed it, well, we ain't giving you yeah, another yeah. one. You see what we're doing now. Yeah. Yeah, ain't doing so that. yeah. that, that's, that's where facts. they're susceptible to giving up some plays that down the middle of the football field. They got to just be able to do it. BC. Uh, yeah, for me, you, you got to find an extension of the run game. Um, we all understand, you know, this 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 running back back committee, you know, the Zeeks, the, you know, Daddles, it just hasn't worked out the way they wanted to um, previously. So for me, you got to have an extension. And to do that, to me, 
once you got to get it, one, you got to get the ball out of your hands quick. And to me, I see a screen game happening. Um, the one way to slow down a great pass rusher, I mean, D. Ware used to always tell me this. The one thing they hated was either you run straight at them or you involve the screen game, which means it gets them to think a little bit. Man, why am I getting through this pass or why am I getting through this right. offensive lineman so quick? Oh, there's a screen right behind me. It'll slow them down a little bit. So to me, the only way to get balanced – out there because you can't run the football. You can't just line up in the eye and run it straight at them. We just proven not to be able to do that. Is you got to find a way to extend the run game, which is, you know, maybe a bubble screen here, some type of screen game to slow that rush down and get the ball into your, the hands of guys who are dynamic enough to make guys miss in the open field. That's the one thing I think this offense is missing from last year was that big explosive play, but also getting your playmakers the football in the open field and letting them do work. You got a guy in CeeDee Lamb who's, well, last year at least, was one of the best wide receivers in yards after the catch. Yeah. I mean, this guy's a punt returner. He knows how to make guys miss and make five-yard slants or two-yard shallows turning into 20-yard games, 25-yard games. You also got a guy by the name of Turpin who can who has that ability as well. Thank mm-hmm. you. You know, he's not a guy that's just going to be, you know, carving up the defenses, but if you get the ball in his hands early enough and he has a little bit of space, he can make one or two defenders miss. We've seen that in the past. So to me, you got to extend this run game and to do that, it's got to get the screen game going and getting your playmakers with the ball quick in enough space for them to make people miss out there. And hopefully that slows down that rush enough to where you can get those developing passes down the football field in the middle of the field and be able to take advantage of it. But you got to slow that rush down. Man, I, I, look, that's that's exactly what I was looking for. I was looking for specifically the matchups that you guys were going to call on to, to actually pull out a victory. Mm-hmm. And I think you have a bunch of them, Mike. They're, they're hidden gems that m- m- may be hit or miss. Is the time proof consistency? Have we seen seen these guys do it? I don't think so, but this would be a perfect time for it to show up because I know that you guys watch the tape and you see CeeDee Lamb being taken away by defenses. They, they're saying, and it, uh, who was it? Um, gosh, I saw it on the podcast. Uh, Amon Ross St. Brown just came out and, and was saying to, to Joseph. What, Kirby, uh, Kirby Joseph. Exactly. Yeah. Their game plan was. It, it, take away CD And let the others. Exactly. <laughs> it, it, them. That's what he said. That's what exactly, they did. That's he exactly, said them. Yeah, yeah. them. Let, let them. Let them. If we're, we, we're not worried about them. And to me, the insulting part about that that is to guys like Kevonte Turpin, who you know have the speed to do exactly what you're talking about, BC. He's a guy that could take a bubble screen, take it to the house. You're looking at another guy in, in, in Jalen Tolbert, who you want to, every time you, you want to be so excited for Jalen Tolbert. You, yeah. you want you want to you want to pull for him so bad, but then it's those moments where it's like that glory is evading this young man that seems like he's right on the cusp of having that breakout game. Yeah. And this game is the is the game that you absolutely need Turpin to be. I mean, you need Tolbert to be on his A game. And so, Church, like, you talk about, I, I talk about defensively the percentages, mm-hmm. right? Because for every Cavante bubble screen that's successful, a defense will go, okay, we'll give him one. Mm-hmm. But eventually, are you willing – and able to consistently go to the others. Right. Because we may, we may give up one, and most defense will go, all right, cool, and other caught a pass. Yep. But we're going to play these percentages. Mm-hmm. We're going to say that eventually, Cavante going to miss the read and get tackled for a loss. Or that Jalen Tolbert is not going to run the right route properly and it be an incomplete pass. Mm-hmm. Or you get panicked and you get a little bit pressed and now you try to force one back in the 88 and we tip it in an interception. Mm-hmm. Right? So that, that's the part. It's, it's, it's can – are you willing to consistently go to the others? Because one play don't get them to move. No, no, no. One play to go, all right, cool. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We expect it to get – you know, they're going to get one or two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Will they do it again? Yeah. Will they? Well, I dare you. I I, I double dogged. I triple dog did. Not you. a triple dog. Mm. I triple dog. Mm. Oh, no, we're no. doing it. <laughs> throw it again. Th- throw it again. Yeah. On, on third and seven. Yeah. Look away from eighty eight. Gladly. And we'll see. Are you willing to look away from eighty eight on third and seven, third and nine when you backed up in your own in your own territory when the game's a little tight? Are you? Yeah. Because if you're not. If you're not, and the guy that you have the trust on plays right into the defensive hand, mm-hmm. and they'll just go, "Told you." Okay, I got it. here. Quick question, guys. It, it, when you, if let's say you didn't see this game, and all you got were the stats on this game, mm-hmm. and all you got were the stats, and you're looking at Dak Prescott's stats, stats, what do those stats have to look like for the Cowboys to pull out a victory, Jess? I. Th- <laughs> mm. That's a difficult one. No, no, no. No, it ain't. You can answer it. Go ahead. 
What does that what does that stat line have to look like for Dak? And you say, oh, the Cowboys won this game. Three fifty and four touchdowns. Whoa. <laughs> Give me the completions then. He has to be what? How many times do he throw the ball? 35 for 42 or 35. 35 or 42. Wow. He has to be perfect. Yeah. Okay. I I like the TDs. And and here's why. Because we've seen games where you've gotten blown out and you've had good stat lines. So you got to – it's – you're not running the football. Let's – like – we can sit here and hope all we want. Like I, like I, I don't, I don't live in that land of, you know, like I, I don't, I, I don't live in the land of like. But if Tyler Guyton all of a sudden figures out a way, <laughs> I don't live in that land. All of a sudden, that Terrence Steele is going to turn it on and he's going to be the all. Op- I don't live in that land, my boy. I don't live in that land. There's nothing that you've shown me consistently on film this year that leads me to believe. That's who you're going to be. So 35 of 42, 350 yards, four, four touchdowns. touchdowns. My style line, and, and it, it's it's kind of Dak Prescott, you know, center, but kind of not. Give me 10 or 13 on third down. Give me four or six in the red zone. You know, give me 28-minute time of possession. Give me something to where this defense for the Dallas Cowboys can rest on the sideline a little bit. We've seen it in, in these past and couple of games. give them a cushion to play with. Saying thank you. You give them you some. Give them, it like, ain't three and out, and they got to come, come back on the field. Red and then, <laughs> you know what it is. And then now you, you, they, they got to come back on the field, and they down 14 points. It, it is over with then. Because now. Because well, they're going to get their hands on you. Yeah. It, 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 it's a wrap for them. <laughs> <laughs> give, me, give me them stats. Where right. the defense is resting and they come on the field. Ah, it's they turn the again. Field and they up 14-7. <laughs> Let's right. go. They up 17-10. Yeah. All right, we got, we, we, it ain't just the pressure now. We can play around a little bit. We can, I can now do some things and, and be able to take some chances. But when you go down there and you look up, you're like, man, dog, it's 17-7. God yeah. damn. At least 8 of 13. Give me, give me yeah. some. These <laughs> 3 of 13s, yeah. that ain't cutting it, man. Because defense, man, you, have you been over there? All you hear is punt team. Yeah. Hey, you're like, like God, I just, I, I just got yeah. one. You just unbuckled the chin <laughs> strap. <sighs> Here we go. And that's that's when that's when it's ready for a long. So that's, that's that sheet, man. It's, it's going to be interesting because I think that's the one thing you come away from every Cowboy loss or win. You look at that stat sheet, and there's some blaring things on that stat yeah. sheet that you say, oh, hey, "There's no way you can win like that if you're playing like that on third down. There's no way you can win like that if you're turning the ball over in the red zone. Mm-hmm. There's no way if that's, if that's your red zone percentage. No way if that's your QBR that you're going to win the game. So that stat line to me is indicative of wins and losses because each and every time. That's the black and white for the Dallas Cowboys. But we got to get to our Yeti Cool customer. And, I, and I'm going to go first. I'm going to go first. I'm going to steal your Yeti Cool customer because I know that's who you're going with. My man, DeMarvian Overshawn. Oh, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with it. And, I, and I think for the, all the same reasons that you had been stating all week, he has to do his best Michael Parsons impersonation. I don't care what nobody says. He played defensive end at the University of Texas. He played that outside linebacker spot, so he knows how to rush off the edge. He knows how to blitz through the A-gap. That's the way that Mike has to use him. He has to get another weapon. Sitting back, playing the, you know, playing the percentages ain't going to work for Mike because right. all Shanahan is going to do is attack him. He's going to attack him on the edges. He's going to send my man 71 on a kamikaze mission oh, to man. the second level, and you know everybody is Olaying. No. 71 getting out the Get way. Out so my the way. Yeti cool customer is the Marvin Overshone. Who you going with, BC? Man, you got me with that. I know, that I I'm sorry, Overshone. You got me on that one. But do do we know? Do we know is is Kendrick's available in this game? Do we do, do we do we know? I think he's trending to okay play. If he's if he's able to, if he's going out there, give me Kendrick's. It's my Yeti cool customer. You need Eric somebody Kendrick. to be that quarterback of the defense. If we saw in Detroit when he wasn't in there, guys looked like they was running around with, you know, looked like the chicken with his head cut off. They was they didn't know where to line up, what was going yeah. on. They need a calming presence in that there. Green dot important. Yeah, it's that so green important. Dot important you be, or you can look around there. What's the play? Hey, catch. Okay, you got me. All right, I'm cool. 
You need somebody in there to settle everything down, especially we all know San Francisco, they're going to get a couple plays in a row. They're going to they gonna have this defense on their heels a little bit. You need that guy in the center that's going to be like, all right, guys, calm down. We got this. This is the play. We need you to take this responsibility. Boom, and get the job done. For me, it was Lee when I was here playing. When Trying he was gone, it was like, oh, what are we going to do next? <laughs> but when he's in there, the defense kind of just calms down a little bit. So to me, if Kendricks is able to go, that's going to be my, my pretty cool customer. This is my camera. Yes. yes. <clears throat> my Yeti cool customer is I need to be hot. Is the okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this guy has a perform. I love this guy. Yes. Man. Go ahead. Trayvon Diggs. Uh, <laughs> hear me, hear me good. Is he gonna hit some mind this week? It's time, brother. <laughs> it's time. No Micah. Nope. No tank. You are the guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're the next guy on this defense that they paid a boatload of money to. Ain't no turning down no tackles this week, my boy. Mm-hmm. And we're not doing that. Mm-hmm. You, when, when Church said they're going to get a couple plays going and you need that common presence, I need that common presence to be from you. I need you to go and get an interception and be like, hey, we good. Uh, you could do this. You could do that. You could do that. Ah, that. Yeah. You could do that. 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 <laughs> you could do that. I don't nah, care what it is. Why you know? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you got to be willing to sacrifice yourself in the running game. Mm-hmm. You got to be willing to. If Debo can go, that's your man. Mm-hmm. I like it. Like they do CD. That's how you got to do Debo. He ain't the fastest. Mm-hmm. He's physical. He ain't the fastest. He ain't running away from you. You got to be the guy to lock that down and make their NMs have mm. to make plays for your defense. Mm. And this, is, this is the moment where you got to step up and go, hey, while my other big dogs is out, I got them. Man, drop the mic then. I got him. Drop the mic then. It's time, bro. Drop the mic then. It's time, man. Drop the mic then. It's time. Like, I, hey, come on, man. Ain't no mm. playing around. It's time. Mm-hmm. Like, you, like, listen, we we desperate. Yeah. Man, that's not we, because I ain't going out there. Y'all desperate. <laughs> yeah. I ain't no. so. Yeah. <laughs> we desperate. Yeah, I ain't even in yeah. there. <laughs> y'all need something. Yeah. You 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 know you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's facts. Y'all need something. Don't that's don't right. let, like don't stop waiting for Overshone or some of these other young kids to step up. You're the veteran guy on this defense. You're the guy that they gave 90-something million dollars to. You're the guy that's supposed to be the lockdown corner on this team. Straps. Make a damn play. Yeah. yeah. You know, Brock Purdy ain't – I mean, he ain't he ain't prime Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. He'll give you an opportunity. Go t- Hey, now's a good time to go get you a pick six, bro. Absolutely. Now, now's, a good, now's a good time for you to step up and say, y'all shut the hell up. We about to work our way back. Instead of, instead of tucking your tail and, and, and when guys are coming around. Now, no, what you say? no. Sidebar. If it's Big Trent Williams coming around the corner, I understand. <laughs> yeah. Lob and weed, my brother. I, I, I understand. Weed. A lot of exceptions. Yeah, there are a few exceptions of this thing. If <laughs> he comes, said you can't cut no more. If, yeah, right, if he right, coming around the corner, cut I, it, I, it wouldn't behoove you to think you're going to stick your nose in there and win that battle. You try to send him back inside to where your help comes from. <laughs> but, dog, come on, man. I, I saw you turning down tackles against running backs, little running backs. Now you talking mm. about Henry. Mm. Talking about little running backs and receivers. Yeah. Can't have that. Man, mm. the players' lounge is off the chain on a Friday. Mm. And it sucks that we only have one segment less. But I gotta take this break, and I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna get mm. your picks. Have you made picks? You already made your picks already, so you can't. You already made your picks on your games. I'm gonna kick the same pick. You gonna keep your same picks? Yeah. I wonder where you going with this big uh, dog? Yeah. Because you yeah. been you been ducking and dodging, mom. Yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, I need man. to know. I need Mom's to know, spaghetti. man. Um. <laughs> hey, we're going to take a break on the Players' Lounge, sponsored by Aristocrat. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> hey, Danny McCray here for Smoothie King. You know every great workout deserves a great reward. So treat yourself right with new coconut smoothie bowls. Made with real fruit, crunchy, purely Elizabeth granola, creamy coconut, and topped with the chocolate hazelnut or honey drizzle. With two new flavors, it's perfect for you and the workout buddy. So you both can stay on track even after you leave the track. Scoop up new coconut smoothie bowls only at Smoothie King, the official smoothie of the Dallas Cowboys. Hey, y'all. Matt Pittman of Meat Church here. With football season kicking off, I'm already gearing up to bring the smoker back to AT&T Stadium for some epic tailgates. 
But with that Texas heat, it's crucial to keep my beer hand cramping cold. That's where Yeti's insulated Colster can cooler comes in clutch. This year, you can even get them with the iconic star engraved on the side. Licensed Yeti Cowboys gear is now available at Stadium Pro Shops, concessions, and on Yeti.com. Check it out today. Yeti, official cooler and drinkware of the Dallas Cowboys. To kick off the 2024 NFL season, Boss teamed up with the Cowboys and Micah Parsons to launch an iconic apparel collection. The Boss Cowboys collection unites football and fashion while reflecting what it truly means to be a boss. Arriving just in time for the start of the season, the distinctive attire from the latest Boss Cowboys expansion offers sports aficionados and true bosses the chance to show their team spirit and style. Get yours today at nflshop.com slash Hugo Boss, Hugo Boss dot and Boss Retail Stores. Hashtag Be Your Own Boss. Raising Canes presents the other rules of football. Rule one, any broadcast without the express edition of Cook to Order Canes Chicken Fingers is prohibited. Rule 12, no crinkle cut fries, Texas toast, or craveable cane sauce constitutes an illegal formation. And rule 31, anybody who loves to feed their game face is an eligible receiver of Canes. When it comes to winning game day, Canes rules. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. One love. Go Cowboys. Back to the Players' Lounge. The Cowboys take on the 49ers in Santa Clara on Sunday, October 27th. So we're hosting another free watch party presented by 7-Eleven. Join us at the Miller Lighthouse at AT&T Stadium to watch the game with Cowboy Nation. Cue Thunderstruck because the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders are performing and Rowdy will be there too. Watch the, watch the game, grab a Slurpee, and cheer loud. Get your tickets at DallasCowboys.com slash watch party. And uh, the players lounge, man. Look, we've been doing our thing. Nui, mm -hmm. Nui took the day off. He, yeah, he, he went played a little golf. On us. He went a little played a little golf today. Uh, we've been talking about uh, what our defense needs to do, and man, everything goes good with ranch. As my man has ranch over there, Facts. we got the braces. Nah, no ranch over what, here. What is that? Yeah, man. What is that? Bro? That's honey mustard, honey barbecue, mustard fire and, too, and, 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 right. and buffalo wing sauce. I just saw white. I, this, honey mustard fire. Yeah, honey too, mustard. Yeah, man, fire. You got the sauces up in here. Yeah, I I'm a triple dipper. Yep. I, I'm okay. a triple dipper. Wow. I'm a triple dipper. Like, I'm a vegetarian. I wouldn't know. I, I, I don't, you know. I mean, you could, you could dip your celery in whatever you want to dip in there. Ranch. Put some cauliflower. Cauliflower. Mm -hmm. And ranch. Mean? You could. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. a vegetarian. Yeah, I'm a vegetarian. I mean, don't, don't, brother, I'm not attacking you, yeah, brother. Yeah, yes, you are. You're judging you are the hell out. Yeah, of course I'm a, yes. I like carbs, okay? Yeah, I, I Don't you look yeah. at me like I that. I judge you. I judge you. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I judge you. <laughs> I judge you. I like cookies. Uh, I judge you. <laughs> I gave up steak, but don't you take my cake. I <laughs> <laughs> you can have the steaks, but give me my cake. Give me my cake, oh, man. I'm very Matty Crocker, man. I ain't uh, mad at you, but brother. listen, man, we, we got to pick these games. In, okay. And um, all week, I, I basically have come in here and I have stated my case about this game. <laughs> you know, look. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what y'all got to do? Yo, no, I got you know what I hate about no, you? Know you know what's so cold about y'all? Yeah, this is what y'all do. Y'all yeah, yeah. back me in the corner every week. You will walk up out of here every week. I see you at the <laughs> security desk. you like, hey, man, so what's the big problem? And I say, oh, you know, so and so. Man, you such a homer. <laughs> you a homer, now. You It's so... When I sit here and I analyze, I dissect, I you give you the facts, y'all still look at me side eye. What's Do a the lot deal? of people say that about you? <laughs> Do a lot? No. Uh, no. Does Church say it about you? Absolutely. Does Newey say it about you? Absolutely. Did Danny McCray say it about you? Absolutely. All right, my brother, we all can't be lying. <laughs> we all can't be hey, lying. Hey, you, lying hey, you, see that, you see that Jerry Metalon thing? <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Metalon. Here. Heck, you're a fan. Right? <laughs> but but see, you're, an edu you're an educated fan. I'm like, uh, like oh, uh, word, that's what we go with. Shout out to my boy G-Back. What up, G-Back? That's what we go with. Shout out to G-Back. Hey, that's like, wait a minute, man. All the football I call, hey. You're, you're a fan. I'm just saying, you're an educated uh, fan. A lot of times when a lot of people say <laughs> things about you, one, yeah. when a lot of people say things about you, it's That's all good, tough man. to beat those hey, allegations. Man, you know I'm, what I mean? I'm loyal to the soil. I, I, you, I love the Dallas Cowboys, man. Born and raised, Oak Cliff, Texas, man. Shout out to Oak Cliff. It's what it is. Yeah, you man. Know, I, look, man. Theory day. Uh, South. You dig? With an F. F. You South. dig? South. So. I, let me just, can I say one random thing? This has Go nothing ahead. to do with football. Go ahead. I'm not from Texas. Mm -hmm. okay, from matter. Jersey. But one thing I do love, especially being like being around here, worked in the South, uh, I love 
the Texas already. Already. Because it, it means so much stuff. You go with everything. Like, yeah. it, like you're like, what's up, bro? Already. 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 You know what I'm saying? Already. Somebody hold door, You hold the door for somebody? Already. already. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's how like, you say it, though. Yeah, that's what I mean. And I love that. I it's love... different than flesh. Already. Yeah, I love yeah, that. Like, man, hey, man, I, hey, man that, uh, that chicken good? Man, already. already. <laughs> you know, like, it's, I'm, so shout out to all my Texas folks that use, that use, uh, uh, they go, uh, Hey, say man. Say, hey. hey, hey, say man. <laughs> and already, I love y'all for that, man. That, that already <laughs> goes so hard, bro. They just be oh, already, uh, already, you, already. You've dog. been to Oak Cliff way too long. Yeah, bro. I, I love it, man. I, I love, I love me a good, especially for the old head. I love me a good old head already. Already. <laughs> hey, old head, call me up there, and I, and I usually get offended when like an old, like when somebody call me, like I'm 40 years old, you, you know, youngster. But the old head hit me the other day. He's like, he's like, ah, right, yo, fella. I looked. I said. Already. You got already. it. You got it. You, you, you got it. You got it, OG. I'll be young fella today. But see, even <laughs> even understanding, you know, you come from East Coast slang coming down from South, coming to the South. You understand, bro. Uh, yeah. You, the uh, inflection yeah. on Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. Uh -huh. I get it. No, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. To, I'm sorry to no, that. no, that's man. Right. This is the players' lounge. This already. is what it is already. 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 Um, uh, CB Easy. Let us know the picks already. All right. <laughs> already. All right. That was a, that first, was a very corporate There we go. There we go. Already. All right. <laughs> first pick, Philadelphia at Cincinnati. Cincinnati is the favorite by two oh, and a half. What? You know I'm rocking with. So what it says, I just read you the picks. The you got the sheet of integrity, or the, nah, I got you. Oh, you got you. Oh, you want to know? You want to know who's in the lead right now? Who, who in the lead right now? It's a tie between Nui and Heckma. I'm glad. I am so glad that <laughs> that Nui ain't here because his in in before the bye he went eight no. Yeah, that that's Ooh. what got him up. Yeah, yeah that's what got him out. Yeah, picked yeah, all eight games. Ahead of y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. he jumped out the cake on that one. Yeah, he did. Definitely jumped out of the cake. Yeah, so what you got, Heckma? Yeah. You said Cincinnati, Philly. Philly at Cincinnati. I'm Cincinnati is a – you're going Philly. Okay. Oh. I'm going Philly. I'm okay. going Philly. Uh, I'm going to go – How'd that uh, taste coming out of your mouth? Horrible. Uh, I'm going 20 – I'm going 20 – I'm going 2018. Go. Yo, Chris, somebody, you know, Chris, yo, you know better. Hey, you yeah, know better, Chris. That's, you, a, that's a whole you know violation. Better. Chris, you know better. Chris, you know better. You know better. Chris, you know better. You know better. You know better. That's a violation. You know what hanging with the bro, boys. Yeah. You know better. A, you know man, better, bro. Wait, boy, wait, he was, he was, he was quick at it, too. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, that's like Philly. I'm like, jeez. You got Philly? I guess. Sure. Who you got? You know, I'm going with my boy K. Moore, man. Go on with K. Moore. Um, 24 21. All right, Jesse, you want to pick? Yeah, I'm going Philadelphia too. I, yeah. I think getting back uh, Devontae Smith and getting back AJ Brown opens up this offense. And and, and Saquon right now, mm -hmm. Saquon mm -hmm. right now, he in that conversation mm -hmm. with, with Lamar, with Jared Goff, and Saquon in that MVP mm -hmm. in my book. Yeah, you see, K Moore getting All right, we're to speed these things up. Okay. Arizona at Miami. Miami is favorite three and a half. Arizona at Miami. Yep. Two a back. Two a back. Two a back. Hmm. Give me Miami. Miami. Ooh, that's how you pick a game right there. Oh, uh, that's a, that's a tough. I'm going. I'm going. You know, I'm you gonna seen go. Kyler and Connor. You did see them last. Week. I'm gonna go AZ on this one, man. Okay, I'm okay. going to Arizona. Um, I'm gonna go Arizona 25-23. Yeah, give me Miami. Give me the yayo on this one. Uh, 24-20. Oh, I gotta pick a score. Give me 20, 21-19 Miami. All right, nice. All right, we got uh, next one. We got uh, Atlanta at Tampa Bay. Tam Atlanta is favored by two and a half. Give me Atlanta. Atlanta. Atlanta, 31 24. Yeah. Give, me, give me Atlanta, 28 14. All y'all go. Oh. Ain't no Evans, no Godwin. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ATL on this too. I'm gonna go. I think this is. Yeah, I'm going. Did somebody say 30 up points already? Yeah, I hit with the Okay, button. I'm gonna go. Oh, man. Let's go 32 32 21. We got Green Bay favorite at Jacksonville by three and a half. Yeah, Green Bay, I think everybody goes take Bay. Green What's Bay. Green Bay, lot. You buy a lot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a Green lot. Bay, uh, uh, 31, 31, 12. Ooh, Green Bay, 28, 14. Yeah, I, I, go tw I think they score 28. 28 tw I go 28, 20. Okay, Buffalo going across the country playing at Seattle. The dust. Buffalo the dust. by three. The dust. Oh. I'm going Seattle on this one. At the okay. crib. Yeah, I'm going Seattle. I'm going to go 17 14. Mm. DK, DK playing? Anybody know? Uh, I think he's not playing. He, he had the grade one MCL sprain. Give me the dust. Give me the dust in Buffalo. Uh, 
24-17. Yeah, Josh Allen, another one of those guys in the MVP conversation as well. Mm-hmm. Give me Buffalo on the West Coast. Uh, give me Buffalo 24-10. Mm. All right. The, the dust. Our last game before the Dallas game is Chicago at the Fighting Dan Quins. Daniel's playing. I don't know. That defense for Chicago's ill, too. I'm going to go Shot Town on this, man. Give me Shot Town 2017. Give me Shot Town 17 to 10. Give me Washington. Mm. Let's go, Marcus Mariota. Oh. Uh, give me Marcus Mariota 17 9. Okay. Now, Dallas at San Francisco. BC, San Francisco. BC you first. Go. Oh, yeah. You ain't going to be you, baby. BC, go you first. Come hey, on. Yeah, give me the boys in this one. I told you for the. I told you from Josh to give me the boys. What, what the boys? The from? boombox boys? The, no, 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 I ain't talking about them. Oh, I ain't talking oh. about them. I ain't talking about Bang Bang Nine again. The super, the super gremlin boys. The, I don't want none of oh. them. Oh, they, they ain't gonna be there. All right, they, they ain't gonna be. <laughs> give me the boys. Oh, man, this is crazy. Give me the boys. I done told you. You ain't listen to me in Detroit. Yeah, you ain't listen to me in Detroit. I tried to tell you in Detroit. <laughs> give me the boys. Mm. Wow. Twenty to seventeen. It's gonna be a boat race, y'all. Oh, I am a firm believer that a head coach slash whoever the coordinator is inside of the ball, you got to go get your team one or two wins a year. I believe that. Yeah. I believe your quarterback should go get you two, three wins a year, and then your team will figure out the rest. They have the, they have the superior coach on the sideline. The one thing that's been the Cowboys nemesis this year has been the Kyle Shanahan tree. You facing daddy. Yeah. You facing the trunk. Hey, they the roots. Oh, uh give me 3014. Oh, like that? Niners. Niners. Niner. Oh my goodness. So on this show, we have something called the sheet of integrity. Mm-hmm. And we do this at the beginning of the season. We tell all our picks. Guys fluctuate on their sheet yeah, yeah, of integrity. Yeah. Football, Even, football. Exactly. So, you know, everybody's changed throughout the the, the six games of the, are claimed that they already said what a win or a loss is going to be. I have stated my case all week. I've said, just like you said, Jesse, that Shanahan has my man Mike McCarthy's number. I think Mike it's a hurt. Pittsburgh. Yeah, Mike from Pittsburgh. He can't. Shout he, out to the bird. Just can't get. Just can't. <laughs> shout out to the bird. Shout out to the bird. Shout out to the bird. Hard to get over hard to get over the hump there. You know, Cowboy Nation, I'm going to let you down on this one because I'm going with the 49ers, man. I'm going with the 49ers. I, my score is wow. 24 to 13. Cowboy wow. Nation, I hope your team win. That's the Players' Lounge sponsored by Aristocrat Gaming. I hate to do it to you. Wow. Wow. That's what we're we doing? We out of this stand. That's what we do. Stand with wow. the shield of integrity. This has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah!